Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Happy day 21 at the magic from Rhonda Burns. I know it's backwards because I've got my camera the other way around. But anyway, it is the magic from Rhonda Burns, and this is part of the uh, the secret. So if you haven't watched the movie The Secret, uh, this is very uh, inspiring to to watch as well. And you'll really feel the gratitude that has been shared amongst everyone that's in the movie as well. So today's uh, practice is Magnificent Outcomes. And this quote is from G.K. Chesterton, uh, 1874 to 1936. He's a writer. You say grace before meals. All right. But I say grace before the concert and the opera and grace before the play and the pen pantomime and grace before I open a book and grace before sketching, painting, swimming, fencing, boxing, walking, playing, dancing, and grace before I dip the pen in the ink, unquote. We all want good outcomes to everything we do in giving thanks before he performed an action. The writer Gilbert Keith Chesterton used the magic of gratitude to guarantee the outcome he wanted. You will have had times when you had thought to yourself, I hope this goes well, or I hope this turns out okay, or I'm going to need a lot of luck. All these thoughts of hoping for a good outcome to a situation, but life doesn't happen by chance or because of a stroke of luck. The law of the universe operate mathematically to the finest possible degree. That is something you can count on. A pilot doesn't hope that the laws of physics will keep working during his flight because he knows the laws of physics will never fail. You don't go into your day and hope that the law of gravity will keep you on the ground so you don't float off into space. You know there's no chance at play and gravity's law will never fail. If you want magnificent outcomes to everything you do, then you have to use the law of go that governs outcomes, the law of attraction. That means you have to use your thoughts and feelings to attract magnificent outcomes and to you and bring and being grateful for the magnificent outcomes is one of the simplest ways to do it. The magnificent outcomes practice is being grateful before you do something you want to go well, go want to go well. <laughs> you could be grateful for the magnificent outcome to the work meeting, job interview, or exam, magnificent outcome to the sports game, a phone call, catch up with a friend, or seeing your mother-in-law. You could be grateful for the magnificent outcome or your medical outcome to your exercise routine, your pet's vet, vet up appointment, or your medical or dental checkup. You could be grateful for the magnificent outcome when an electrician, plumber, or any trans tradesperson is addressing a problem in your home. The magnis magnificent outcome to a family outing, conversation with your child about behavior, or heart to heart with your partner. You could be grateful for the magnificent outcome to a purchase you will be making, such as a birthday gift, engagement ring, or a wedding dress, or a magnificent outcome to choosing a new cell phone, new carpet, drapes, or renovation company. You could be grateful for the magnificent outcome for a reservation at a restaurant, or great seats for a concert, the magnificent outcome to your daily mail, your daily emails, your tax refund for the year. If it helps you to believe in the magnificent power of gratitude to create magnificent outcomes, you can wave your fingers through the air and imagine you're sprinkling magic dust over the event you want to turn out magnificently. Another time to use mag gratitude for magnificent outcomes is when something unexpected happens during your day. When something unexpected happens, very often we can jump to conclusions and immediately think there's something wrong. For example, you arrive at work 
and are told that the boss wants you wants to see you right away. The problem with jumping to conclusion and thinking there's something wrong is that the law of attraction says that <clears throat> what you think and feel, you will attract to it, to you. So instead of jumping to conclusions and thinking you might be in trouble, take the opportunity to make the magic happen by being grateful for the magnificent outcome. If you miss your bus or train on your way to work or miss a flight or unexpectedly delayed, instead of thinking this is bad, <laughs> be grateful for the magnificent outcome so that you put the magic into motion to receive a magnificent outcome. If you're a parent and you're asked to attend an unexpected meeting at school about your child, instead of thinking there's a problem, be grateful for the magnificent outcome. If you receive an une unexpected phone call, email, or letter, and the thought flashes into your mind, I wonder what's wrong. Immediately, immediately be grateful for the magnificent outcome before you pick up the call or open the email or letter. Most of the time you will see the experience, the magnificent outcome you asked for. And occasionally you won't even know how to, how benefited from the unexpected event. But when you ask for the magnificent outcome and feel sincerely grateful for it, you are using the mathematical law of attraction. And you must receive a magnificent outcome back somewhere at some time, guaranteed. Whenever you find yourself thinking there's a chance at play with something in your life or thinking you have no control over something or when you find yourself hoping something will turn out well, remember that there's no chance for the law of attraction. You will get what you're thinking and feeling. Gratitude helps protect you from attracting what you don't want, bad outcomes, and it ensures you get what you do want magnificent outcomes. When you are grateful for magnificent outcomes, you are using universal law and changing hopes and chance into faith and certainty. When gratitude becomes your way of life, you automatically go into everything you do in gratitude, knowing that the magnificent of gratitude will produce a magnificent outcome. The more you practice magnificent outcomes and make it a daily habit, the more magnificent outcomes you will attract into your life. Less and less you will find yourself in situations that you don't want to be in. You won't find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time. And no matter what happens in your day, you will know with absolute certainty that the outcome will be magnificent. At the beginning of today, choose three separate situations where you would like magnificent outcomes. You can choose three things that are important to you in your life currently, such as a job interview coming up, an application for a loan, an exam, or a doctor's appointment. You can also start by selecting three things that are normally humdrum activities for you. Because when the magic happens to those humdrum activities, you will be really convinced that you attracted the magnificent outcome. For example, you could choose your drive to work, doing the ironing, going to the bank or post office, picking up the kids, paying the bills, or collecting the mail. Make a written list of the three situations you've chosen for magnificent outcomes. Use gratitude's magical power, and as you write each one, imagine that you're writing about each one after it has happened. Thank you for the magnificent outcome too, and fill in the blank. For the second step of this magical practice, you are going to choose three unexpected things that arise today and use the magical power of gratitude for their magnificent outcomes as well. You could do this practice before you take the three phone calls or before you open three emails or three letters in the mail, before you do an unexpected errand or anything else unexpected that comes up in the day. This part of the practice is not so much about what unexpected events you choose as it is about you practicing gratitude for magnificent outcomes 
on the little unexpected things. Each time an unexpected event arises, close your eyes briefly, if you can, and mentally say and feel the magic words. Thank you for the magnificent outcome to fill in the blank. You can't do this magical practice too much because the more you practice it, the more magnificent outcomes you will have in your life as a matter of course. But practicing it today will get you into the idea of it. And in the future, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're, help, you're hoping for a good outcome or thinking you need luck, you will, uh, you will immediately turn the magical power of gratitude and make magnificent outcomes a certainty in your life. So the practice for today, which is practice number 21, is the magnificent outcomes. Number one, count your blessings and make a list of 10 blessings. Write why you're grateful. Reread your list and at the end of each blessing say thank you, thank you, thank you and feel as grateful as, for that blessing as you can. Number two, at the beginning of the day, choose three things or situations that are important to you where you want magnificent outcomes. Number three, list your three things and write each one as though you are writing after it has happened. Thank you for the magnificent outcome too. Number four, as you go through your day, choose three unexpected events that come up in your day where you can be grateful for magnificent outcome. Each time, close your eyes and mentally say and feel, thank you for the magnificent outcome to whatever the reason is. And number five, just before you go to sleep tonight, hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you for the best thing that happened today. Thank you so much for following me. Uh, for those of you that have just come on, you know, this is the, the magic that we've been reading for the, uh, we're, I'm doing this for the um, 28 days consecutively and the practices are really amazing. I love to hear from those of you that have been following um, or even those of you that have just joined and have any questions about this. The magic is from Rhonda Byrne um, and she's been also in the secret, the movie, The Secret. And, you know, talking about the law of attraction and the word, the gratitude and, or having gratitude and the word thank you in your vocabulary really makes a big, big difference. Uh, for example, I'm always um, looking for my um, parking angel and I always have used the law of attraction. I'm so grateful that I have found the right parking spot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That helps me get through uh, the times that I do go out there and try to find a parking spot. And so I, I encourage everyone to, um, to take a chance and take a moment to read this book here. And the best thing too, the, uh, you don't have to follow the practice consecutively 22, 28 days, but um, I would suggest that read the book first and then once you've read the book the one time, then after that, you can just choose a chapter just by feathering the book. And whatever opens up to is the one that resonates for you that day. Sometimes we're feeling a little humdrum. You know what? The answers are usually in the book. So again, just feather it open and it'll just fall in place and follow that practice. Um, some of us have our favorite chapters that we fall through when things are not going so well. We all have different ways of, of um, analyzing or, or, or helping us out with um, our daily practice. So thank you, thank you for each and every one of you. And I will see you tomorrow at noon on day 22. Bye for now.